supermoon is when we get the closest full moon of the year. Now, this is important because the supermoon will appear about 17% larger, about 30% brighter than a smaller full moon. Um, and so this is a really unique opportunity to, to sort of begin this relationship observing the moon. Uh, and a supermoon is a, a great excuse to start uh, looking at the moon more, more regularly. We get a full moon every 29 and a half days. Very predictable. Um, we get anywhere from 12 to 13 full moons in a year. What is a little less uh, regular is the fact that the moon's orbit around the Earth is not a perfect circle. Uh, it is uh, slightly elliptical. And so at certain portions of its orbit, it's closer to the Earth. Certain times, it's further from the Earth. And so the moon goes through this, this cycle of being close or further away. Again, it's very subtle. Uh, and if you're not regularly watching or observing the moon, you might not ever even notice it. Um, and so we get this rhythm when we get a full moon that happens around the nearest uh, portion of its orbit to the Earth. And, and that, again, happens essentially every 13 months that we get one of these closest full moons. You don't need to have super fancy high-tech equipment. Uh, just your naked eye, even a, a simple camera phone can take a picture of the moon where you can see these light and dark areas. Now with more advanced uh, equipment, you can take pictures of higher resolution and start seeing subtle and smaller features on the lunar surface. But all you need is a, a clear sky. Um, of course, you also need to be safe, uh, making sure that you can actually go out and observe the moon. I know right now folks are perhaps under some uh, restrictions for when they can get outside, but if it's a clear night and you have a, a great view uh, to the south, um, you'll, you should be able to, to catch a glimpse even outside of your, your own residence of the moon hanging beautifully in the sky. Anyone in the world will be able to look out and look at the moon. And that presents a really nice opportunity for folks everywhere, uh, whether you're hunkered down in your, your home in central England, or you're hunkered down in your home in suburban Washington, DC, or in you know Southeast Asia, you'll be able to see ultimately the same moon. It's something that we can share globally. And you know, right now, at this point in time, having something that connects us all, I think, is really uh, important. And the fact that it's the moon, something that I love studying, love talking about, makes it even that much more enjoyable for me. 